All right, in this video, we're going to talk about something called Kramer's Rule, which is a method of solving systems of linear equations, which is all, um, it's all about using determinants, which is kind of neat, um, and it's really quick, which is kind of interesting. Um, so let's say that we have this two-by-two two system, so two variables, uh, two equations, two equations, two unknowns. Um, so I'm kind of color coding it to hopefully make this work. What we do is we figure out three different determinants. So um, the first one, which we just called D, um, is going to be just the coefficients of the variables. So D is going to be um, A1, B1, A2, B2, but it's faster to just write it, uh, you know, vertically write the columns. Um, and then hopefully you remember how to calculate that. So that's going to be A1, B2 minus uh, B1, A2. So calculating determinants, big deal here. Um, then what we do is we calculate another determinant, um, which we call D sub X. And what you do is you replace the x column, so a1, a2, with the constants, so c1, c2. So we're going to end up with a determinant that looks like this. So we, we replace the x column, which was a1, a2, with the, the constants, the things that the equations are equal to, so c1, c2. Um, and what's nice is that the, the method just works, you, you kind of just keep rolling through. So um, you're always returning to the original determinant, so the original d, um, and replacing a new column. So when we want to solve for y, we're going to need uh, d sub y, so I'm going to replace the y column. So b1, b2 will be replaced by c1, c2. So I get this determinant. Um, and now to solve for x, what I do is d sub x over d. And when I want to solve for y, I do d sub y over d. Um, and that's it. Uh, so it's really, really fast. Uh, you just have to remember which column to replace. Um, so let's do an example. So we have 3x minus 2y equals 4, and 8x plus 5y equals negative 2. So I'm going to figure out those three determinants. So the first one, d, is just the coefficient. So it's uh, going in columns, 3, 8, and then negative 2, 5. So I just pull right off. Um, and then that's going to be uh, 15 minus negative 16. So 15 minus negative 16. Uh, in this video, I do a lot of the uh, determinants kind of in my head, or I mean, I'm writing them down, but... Uh, it's not about showing you how to do determinants, so if you want to know more about that, you could see uh, my determinant video or probably a million others. Um, so that's D. D sub X, remember, I'm going to remove the column 3, 8 and replace it with 4, negative 2. So that's what you do. Um, so it's 4, negative 2, and then uh, that. So it's going to be uh, 20 minus 4, which gives me 16. And then d sub y, I go back to the original d, and I replace the column for y, which was negative 2, 5, with the constants, which are 4, negative 2. So that gives me this determinant. Um, so that's going to be negative 6 minus 32, which is negative 38. Um, and then to write down the solutions, x is d sub x over d, which is 16 over 31. And then y is d sub y over d which is negative 38 over 31, and that's the solution. Um, so it's kind of a really interesting way of solving a system of equations, right? Uh, you know, substitution, uh, linear combinations, you might know Gaussian elimination, which is also a really cool way of using matrices. Um, but uh, this method is, is really nice, it's really fast, you can kind of do it in your head, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, now I'm going to show you one using a 3x3 three three system, which uh, just extends Kramer's rule uh, kind of in a logical way. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate d, which again is the coefficients, but now I get a 3 by 3 determinant. Um, so I'm going to expand this, uh, I'm going to write it down, but I'm kind of doing this in my head, so I'm not showing very much work. So I'm always expanding along the first row. Um, later in your life, if you do something called a cross product, uh, you'll have to do a lot of these, which is why I'm, I'm able to do these, uh, I don't know, relatively quickly. Uh, because that involves kind of basically finding a 3 by 3 determinant. Uh, so you do a lot of them. So that's D. Now when I want to find D sub X, remember, I replace the column for D with the um, the like answer, so 1, 2, 1. So that's what happened. That's the only change. And now I calculate this. So I'm expanding across the top row, and I'm doing those 2 by 2 determinants that are left over. Um, and they're not very hard to do in your head, so you could probably also do it if you if you put some practice in. Uh, D sub y, so I'm replacing the y column with the uh, kind of answers, and I get this, expanding across the top row again. 
and then d sub z. So I'm going to replace the z column with kind of the answers, and then expand across the top row to get this determinant. And then um, the solution is going to be uh, x is d sub x over d, y is d sub y over d, and z is d sub z over d. Um, and 3 by 3 systems, I'm sure you're familiar with, are, are kind of challenging to solve, but if you use Kramer's rule, they're really not that bad. Um, and I hope you found these examples helpful, and uh, good luck.